This lesson will dive further into formatting rules, and this time using dates. Date rules are set using the conditional formatting tool. When you create a date rule, you highlight a cell based on its date value. And when we go into formatting rules, we can see that there are three major date rules. Date is, date is before, and date is after. Take a look at the first table in column B. Start by highlighting cells that contain the 17th of June, 2023. To do that, we're going to go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and then Date Is. We're then going to select Exact Date. And there are two ways to input dates. By using the Date function, and then enter 6 slash 17 slash 2023. And then hit Done. Expected, we've got our highlighted data. But, le but let's say we have our dates in a different format, where it uses the June abbreviation instead of 6. See what happens when we try to apply the existing date rule. As expected, our data has been highlighted. What happens when we use a slightly different format for the date? We can check what happens by editing the cell range here. I'm going to extend the range to the bottom of the second table by entering 20. And we can see that even though we've entered 6 slash 17 slash 23, it's, it still highlights the correct date, because this is an accepted date format in Google Sheets. If you're ever unsure of whether your date format is correct, you can always use the formula. Equals date, followed by the year, the month, and the day. And when we click Done, we can show that this also works. So there we have it. That's how you use conditional formatting with dates in Google Sheets.